Oh, there it's me again. So this is gonna be another vlog, and it's gonna be unscripted. So I apologize if this gets a bit long and dragged. So I've talked um, with a couple Mormon missionaries. So if you don't know, I currently attend a Mormon church. I I'm not a member of the church. I, I'm an atheist. In case you didn't know that, but I attend like the regular, <coughs> the the Sunday worship, and I have. Uh, lessons about once a week with the missionaries and I attend the Sunday school and they have another gender segregated class after that. I attended it last week as well. <coughs> My throat is a bit hurting. Oh, they are nice people. I have many friends, made many friends in the church. One of the previous missionary <coughs> and got uh, got transferred to Osaka. Uh, they kind of count their missionary period by transfers. But anyway, uh, the topic I want to talk about in this vlog is uh, <coughs> oh jeez. <coughs> I had a talk with them about uh, other religions, and I find. Other people might find this interesting, like how Mormon's perspective on other religions and how do we... The question I ask is, how do we tell a good religion, the best religion, which is for them Mormonism, uh, from other religions? Like how, do, does, how can those people tell? Like how can you tell? Or maybe how can the missionaries tell whether this is a good religion? Uh, less good religion. They they in Japanese they don't use like they don't deny people's like they don't say this is a bad religion. They ne just never say that. <coughs> so the basically the best or the easiest you can get them to say is this is less good than our religion. But anyway, so they quoted a couple of verses in the Book of Mormon. So basically they are like okay demons they kind of they control those uh, they, they're, there's gonna going to be many other churches on this world but they are controlled by the demons okay so i ask uh, can there be just a a less good religion that's not controlled by demons it, maybe it's just people want to make money and could that be the case? Or maybe they want to be famous, or maybe they want to have a lot of power over their believers. Could that be the case? Okay, so, you know, like, no, because the reason people have those desires is, well, demons. Well, I, I could have said, how do you know, which goes into epistemology 101, but I, I didn't. But then, so we went on, how, how do we identify a good religion from a less good religion. So <clears throat> I then gave them a counterexample. For example, Buddhism think desire is the is the source of all evil. So is Buddhism a just as good as your religion? Well, of course they would say no. So how do you tell? Well, then they say, okay, it's actually not about using your desire or not. The desire is given by God. And you have to use your desire in the right way that God wants you to use them. So then I asked, how do you tell what are the right ways? How do you tell which religion? Like, because what if there are religions that does tell you to control? Like, how do you use your desires? Then how do you tell? Could uh, of course it, I can com I convince them there c can be such religions because there's a lot of Buddhism and they all kind of believe the different thing and there are so many other religions out there too and there's other Christianities and the the but so they kind of stop there and they they aren't able to answer my question and then we went on to talk about. What do I think? So I then started saying all my stuff and how I came to how I, I'm not believing that there is no God. I'm not. I'm just not believing 
there is a God. I don't know whether there is a God. That's for me what it means to be an atheist. And so that's what happened. And I'm still waiting for the answer. And I told them why I don't like Christianity because we had many conversations before this, so that's why they didn't use the Mormon, the Moroni ten chap, uh, chapter ten, I think verse five something. Basically, you have to read the book and then pray with true intent and whatever. I, I because I asked them, the I gave them the outsider's test, like what if, like if someone from another religion can see that if they do the same thing and read their book and pray and they will they can receive a feeling from they and they will believe it's their god so and they still haven't gone back to me on that so they didn't use that conversation they didn't use that argument so i guess it's i guess we are making some progress this week we are going to talk more about other religions i guess mm. Yeah, I, I guess that's that's it for this video. I hope maybe you'll find it helpful in navigating, like just mm, through religions. You you get you can try to ask them how do you uh, because I, I I really believe what well, I, I guess I shouldn't use belief. I really like what Richard Dawkins said. Like we are all atheists. Like they are atheists for other religions. So you can get them to talk about why shouldn't people believe in those other religions? And and I think they find the conversation interesting and they, they said, okay, I never thought of this. They, they are like, of course, in Japanese because of, it's Japan and they're all Japanese. There are English missionaries, but I, the ones I talk to are Japanese. <clears throat> and they're all nice people. Just I, Sometimes I feel like there's so much negativity when we talk to people. That's the half a religion that endorses genocide, rape, and that stuff. But those people, they don't endorse that. Actually, the the time I mentioned those verses in the Bible to them, that's the first time they heard that. They don't endorse that. They are nice people. It's a religion. It's this whole thing, and and not all of the, all of that religion. Just this little part of it. That's a problem. I think maybe if I if I try to talk to them in that way, maybe they'll realize. Okay, actually, yeah, maybe I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they'll, but maybe they will keep on believing, but will act differently in the future. I mean, that's that's a good thing. I mean, for me, really. I don't have to deconvert people out of religion as an atheist. I just, I really just want to minimize the harm that's caused by religion. Like if you don't want to do a blood transfusion, that's very harmful. If you believe in something false, if you're so overconfident in yourself, and then you take on a challenge that you couldn't complete, rather than keep on planning beforehand, then yeah. You 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 could fail and you could get yourself harmed, and that's what I'm going to do, I guess. Thanks for watching this video. Bye bye. Oh, and there's gonna be a couple two, uh, I think a couple more video coming out this week about Happy Science, which is, or Kofuku no Kagaku, which is a Japanese new religion. Uh, I'm doing a, well, a topic. It's gonna be I think uh, gonna be three videos. One is from a bystander's viewpoint, basically how how much information I have about them, and another video about how I think about them, and there's some less verified information and how we we what kind of conclusion we might be able to draw from that, and then there's another video about a, a street epistemology style conversation I had with them, but that took like an hour, <laughs> because I. I, I put a Jehovah's Witness on them. I knocked on the church door. Of course, they don't call it a church. They call it a shoja. Japanese. That's not the Japanese for word. Japanese word for church. The Japanese for word. Japanese word for church is kyodo. Kyokai. Hmm. 
Actually, it's Kyokai, I think. Okay, bye-bye. For real this time.